Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is the morning that we are taking off from Valdez, but... Oops, but not yet, because we forgot something. In the middle of something. the night, we remembered that we don't have any dinghy fuel, or we didn't restock our dinghy fuel. So this is what you get the next morning, urgent run to the gas station <laughs> when you don't make a list. Yeah, so, we got, we got, we have 17 gallons on board, but... I like to have it all full. So 10 more gallons. And that'll stock us up. So yep. off to the fuel station and then we're going to take off. Okay, yeah, so you have to do that. Like saying goodbye to Valdez as we pull out of the harbor. Leaving Valdez back to the uh, cruising life aboard Sea Venture as we uh, head out on the next few weeks adventure. Uh, of anchoring out in Prince William Sound before heading south to Sitka. But look out the window. We're getting used to these gorgeous mountain, snow-capped mountain views. And... Cruising out Valdez Arm through the Narrows and into the Sound. I wanted to give you an update so you can see me on that camera. But I wanted you to be able to see what I see out the window. So I'm going to have both cameras on. Just cruising along uh, here in Prince William Sound, headed toward Cascade Bay today. It's absolutely beautiful. Having a great time. The Time Zero navigation software over here is uh, has a plotted course. It communicates with the ComNav autopilot to steer the boat and turn when we need to turn. And so there, there, there really, li literally, is nothing to do sitting here as long as something doesn't break. N nothing uh, to do. Well, you can see in that camera that Blake is here sleeping. I think if I turn around and look toward the map. Rosie's back in the cockpit. Blake was back there somewhere with her too. Relaxing in the sun. that's it otherwise it's just sit around and relax and look out the window when Rosie and I will trade places and she'll sit up here and relax and I'll sit back there in the sun and relax on the couch in the uh, cockpit 
Otherwise, that's it. Checking in on Jim. He's editing. He has a helper down below. Look at when I look around and look what I get to see. Look, it's very hard Check to out. I keep looking out the windows. Check out the office, right? The office view, pretty good. And Blake's back here. That's pretty sweet. Nice to see him uh, getting more and more comfortable with the cruising. This is our course. We're going around Point Pelu and we're going to make our way into Cascade Bay up here. We're cruising up Eglek Bay. Not sure if I'm saying that right. And um, up here, where it's a little dark up ahead, is the entrance to Cascade Bay. We're going to head up that way. Here's the hillsides as we enter into Cascade Bay. The falls, the waterfalls in Cascade Bay. Good morning. 
have our morning coffee. We are leaving the Cascade Anchorage after two nights. What a spectacular spot and waterfall, like so many spots up here. Today we're gonna to go glacier hunting again, go up to the College Glaciers. It is uh, June 19th today. We had a great day yesterday, Rosie and I did. We, we didn't really film any, uh, but it was our 38th wedding anniversary. So we enjoyed it by ourselves at anchor here at Cascade Bay in Prince William Sound. So uh, it'll be fun to see where we are next June 18th. But uh, for today, off that way, kind of cloudy, a little bit of light rain, uh, but nice out. And we're gonna head off and uh, I think cruise most of the day up to the glaciers and then back to an anchorage, but we'll see. Cruising along this morning, pretty calm out, but uh, cloudy, off and on rainy, but really nice. I just want to show you the view out the window. The view out the window, lots of little islets and rocks everywhere to navigate around. But we're still just in the monitoring mode here on the navigation. If I can zoom out, we're just working our way around. And then we're going to go through this, uh, what's called Esther Passage here. A little thin, narrow spot there, but that's a couple hours out. Well, up there's the opening for our passage. On the chart, that's what it looks like. Esther Passage. Rainy now. We stopped and salmon fished, but being the hardcore salmon fishermen that we are, we gave it about 30 or 45 minutes and nothing, so we quit doing that and back to cruising. We are starting to enter the narrow portion of Esther Passage, and here is the view out the window. Oops, can you give me a view? There we go. It's a little rainy out today, but that's how it looks. We'll work our way through this segment. The views from Esther Passage. We're cruising up College Fjord, and we're <laughs> coming across a bunch of glaciers entering into the fjord. We're on the west east side, but the first one here is the Wellesley Glacier. The next one is the Vassar Glacier. The next one is the Bryn Mawr Glacier. The fourth one is the Smith Glacier. And then up here is the Harvard Glacier. And then if you come around into this arm is the Yale Glacier. So a lot of glaciers named, I think, by the Harrington Expedition back in the day, they decided to do this college theme. Um, but we're coming up the east side and hopefully we'll go down the west side. But this is what it looks like out the window. Can you give me that one? So there's the large Harvard one straight ahead, and then you can see ice coming down to the water with these multiple glaciers coming back. And we'll get a closer look at those as we uh, make our way back out of the fjord, because we'll go down the other side if we can. Looking out over the bow as we head toward the Harvard Glacier. I think we're about 12 miles away. Let's turn the windshield wiper off for a moment. 
And uh, this glacier is about 1.2 miles wide. And if we zoom in in the clouds, hard to get a focus there, we can see it. We're uh, slowing up a little bit because of the ice in the water. We're approaching the Yale Glacier. And uh, yeah, how's the ice, Jim? It's good. It's not as much as the Columbia Glacier because we're not going to get ourselves in that much ice again. So we just go a little slow and steer in between. I don't mind if we bounce off of them. I just don't want to hit them straight on. If they're too big, we just want to try to avoid them completely. It's College Point. There is the Yale Glacier. The island to the right of that is called Tuition Island. There's a little cove behind the peninsula to the right of that. And then um, Real pretty shoreline here. There's a pretty berg out the window. We are working our way away from Yale, but it's a bit of a little weaving game to see how far we can get and make our way over to Harvard, but we'll see about that. This is the Vassar Glacier. It's very dirty at the bottom, but you can see the ice field up at the top. To the right of it is the Bryn Mawr Glacier. And to the right of that is the Smith. And we can't quite see the Harvard from here. That's College Point in the way. See if we can get around, get through more of this ice as I hear the ice crunch the hull. See if we can get through more of this ice and get ourselves a better view of the Harvard Glacier. Some big chunks cruising by the boat. Ooh, something else hits. Smith, and then there is the Harvard Glacier. 
It is, I think Jim mentioned, 1.2 miles wide. All right, we're in a little bit of an open spot. We're just sitting and watching the ice. And uh, what have you observed, Jim? Well, it's visually, it's just visually um, deceiving because you look out the window and you think, well, we're moving, but we're actually not moving. But this whole ice you can see is moving across in front of us. And Barkley wants to play. But if you watch the ice for a moment, you can see that it's moving at three or four tenths of a knot or something. Barkley! <laughs> so Barkley. Barkley wants to play. He's done napping. It's play time. Uh, it's turnaround time. The sun is peeking out up on the hillside up there. I wish it would make its way this way, but um, it's pretty spectacular regardless. Pretty spectacular place to be able to see six glaciers entering into the sea from one lookout. Kind of amazing. Check out that tour boat. They're loaded up heading up to the glacier. Kibble soccer. We're approaching the Wellesley uh, Glacier, and there's supposed to be um, an anchorage right in the basin in front of it because it's no longer into the water, but there's a little, it uh, calves onto the shore inside the basin. And um, we thought that'd be pretty cool to see. So we're gonna see if we can find it. But right now, the shoreline looks very solid. Hopefully it's just a perspective thing. as we cruise by. Barkley and the Harbor Glacier.
Well, did it say Amherst Great Glacier and Crescent Glacier? Well, in the mist and fog, it's finally come into view. The entrance to Bethel Lagoon, our anchorage for tonight. Right through that little opening there. Here's a view of tonight's anchorage in Bettles Lagoon. It cleared up a little bit. It is about 9.30 p.m. Thanks for watching another episode of Cruising Sea Venture. Stay tuned as we continue to cruise Prince William Sound, begin the process of wrapping up our time and looking at pointing the bow south on back to Southeast Alaska and beyond. So until next time, wishing you no wind and flat seas.